Although police didn't release the names of the victims, they did say the female victim worked as an educational assistant. Eric Fiano was in Dunville today and joins us live in studio with the latest Eric. Hi, Taz. So the Brant Haldeman Norfolk Catholic District School Board confirmed with CHH News today that the woman was an educational assistant working for the board and multiple parents in Dunville tell me she worked at St. Michael's School there. The flag was at half mast today at the school and I spoke with one woman who did not want to appear on camera who says she knew the woman. She did not want to reveal her identity out of respect for the family, but tells me she was a well liked and hard working educational assistant. The woman tells me her own children, as well as other children who she worked with, are absolutely devastated by the news. In an email sent to CHCH News, the school board says its compassionate care response team was available to support students and staff today. A letter was also sent out to parents from the chair of the board and the director of education. It reads in part, we received the news of her passing through the media and want to share that after connecting with the Hamilton Police Services, the circumstances surrounding her death may be troublesome for some. It is important after tragedies like this that as a Catholic community, we come together to support one another through our faith. Please hold the individual and her family in your prayers. Now, some of the people I spoke to in Dunville today say, although the woman did not live in town, they say they still feel as though they lost a member of their community. My son uh, explained to me that a couple of his friends had obviously lost someone that goes to their school and then hearing more about it, it's a huge thing for this community. We're a small town and everybody knows everybody, right? So it's quite sad that this has taken place. Our kids rely a lot on the EAs um, and all our EAs in the area go above and beyond for our children. Um, so it is, it's a great loss for not only the community, but mainly for the kids. Well, I'm kind of in shock. Uh, you always think uh, about all these people from different communities but it's always somewhere else, and this is right at home. Like, it, she's obviously my neighbor because she works right across the road, so, uh, yeah, it's sad that, that this has really happened. Now, as I said before, police and the school board have not released the identity of the victims. However, police did also note that the male victim worked as an electrician in Hamilton.